Hello everyone, welcome, welcome to the Drunken Ears channel. I am your host Ralpha and today we are continuing uh, Legends, Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel, episode 13, lucky number 13. Right. Taking a little sip of my coffee here. Uh, thank you so much guys for the all the support, all the comments, all the stuff, it really is appreciated. I am loving the discussions we are having down in the comment section about all sorts of different things, all the tips and, and tricks and lore bits you guys are dropping down there. Thank you so much, it is very much appreciated. Uh, sadly, today I don't have a lot of time, so this might just be a bit of a shorter episode. But uh, let's just get on with it, right? We, got, we know we gotta go to Trista, so let's see. Should I go back to the dormitory? Uh, yes. Let's return to the dormitory. I think we spoke to everyone. Hey we there, should be fine. Year. Oh, it's you. I'm not going to play along with your scams this time, so you might as well be on your way. <laughs> I wasn't trying to hustle you before, honest. Did you, uh, figure out how I did it, though? Magic. It fell in the bag. If you really want your 50 mirror back, I'll be happy to hand it over. But wouldn't you rather feel like you earned it? Come on, what do you say? Hmm. There had to have been a trick to it. Some form of sleight of hand. Something that wasn't as it seemed. There was, dude. We figured it out. So he tossed the coin in the air. He did the motion like he was going to catch it by crossing his hands. But he actually let it go through his hands into the bag at his feet. If I had to guess, I'd say the crux of this illusion was... The bandana, the drawstring bag at his feet. The coin was never tossed. It was a drawstring bag at his feet. A pink crease but one. Let's go. Of course. I'm pretty sure he had a bag at his feet. Which means... You threw the coin in the air, but let it fall instead of trying to catch it. You let it fall right into the open bag, lying in wait for it at your feet. Am I right? Yeah, not bad. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to figure it out so quickly. So I was right. Yep, spot on. And a promise is a promise, so here's your 50 mirror bag. Mm. She uh, doesn't have it. Sorry. I've only got 10 mirrors. No, no, don't believe him. He's trying to hustle you again, Reen. Don't buy it, dude. Don't buy into his tricks and lies. <sighs> it's fine. Just forget it. I'm glad this made a comeback, though. That was pretty cool. It's only 50 Mira. You can keep it. What do you mean it's only 50 Mira, Reen? I don't see you fucking earning the Mira I'm trying to earn here. I'm trying to keep us afloat. I got shit to buy, dude. Oh, really? Well, that's mighty generous. Hey, stop trying to leech money off innocent first years, you louse. Husky voice. Oh crap, it's the she-devil. Oh boy, who's what? the she-devil? Is it the leather girl? Yep. She-devil ho! A bicycle? No, it looks like it's powered by orbital energy. Also, you already saw it, like why are you... Like, oh my god, I've never seen this before. You already saw it before, dude. Twice, actually. Wait, I've seen this girl somewhere Yes, before. twice as well. Come on, get it together, Bean. You're Reen, I take it. I've been hearing all about you from Toa and George. Sounds like you pulled off some pretty amazing stuff in your field study last month. Mmm, look at her winking at me. I sure did, girl. What's up? How you doing? I'm surprised you know my name, actually. I didn't think I'd been doing anything worthy of such attention. Guess I should still officially introduce myself, though. I'm Reen Schwarzer. It's nice to meet you. Same. Angelica, I'm Angelica Ragnar. Angelica Ragnar. Dude, I guessed that last name too. Glad I could finally make your acquaintance. I'm glad I, I haven't butchered all of them. Only like 85% of them. Ragnar? As in Marquis Ragnar? Head of one of the four great houses? Marquis? Isn't that Marquis? That, that's just weird. That, okay, this uh, they're just... They're just trying to pull my leg this time. Like, I, I know some of the names. I, I, I butchered on my own, but this time they're just fucking with me. Like, really? Alright. <laughs> Same reaction every time, I swear. Yeah, I'm his unworthy daughter. But he doesn't really want to have anything to do with me since I go around dressed like this. I mean, that, that's A-OK -okay by me. Uh, I think it's less how you dress and more how you behave. Where are you going on that bike at this hour anyway? Oh, George finally finished tuning the Orbital engine. So I figured I'd give it a run to the capital and back and see how it holds up. <sighs> and she was never heard from again. Nice not to have a care in the world. 
<laughs> Look who's talking. So you do ride it like a bike. <laughs> God damn me. Wow. <laughs> well, catch you later. I'm thinking of putting in a request for you sometime. If I do, I'd sure appreciate a swift response. You got it, girl. I... Huh. Lost for words? That's a little something George put together a while back. He calls it an orbal bike. Pretty cool, huh? It is. It's kind of like a steel horse. On a steel horse I ride. I'm guessing you can't buy those in any shops? No, you get a, a bike voucher. Nah. The Ruhr Institute of Technology started putting that one together as part of a test. Then George finished it off. We gotta go talk to the uh, Pokemon fan club leader. He'll tell you all about it. All about his rapid ash, and then he'll give you a bike voucher. Jellica put up the money for the parts herself. Oh, but Toa and I helped out too. Jellica? That's what they call her? That's weird. Never heard that before. It's cool though. Sounds like it must have been a pretty challenging project. Are you on good terms with Toa and George then? Angelica said she'd heard all about me from them. Maybe you had a little something to do with that too? Well, we're all from different classes, but we've kind of stuck together for a while now. Come to think of it, I never did introduce myself. No, you I? did not, you rude ass mother. Oh, Crow's Name's Crow Armbrust. Armbrust. Second Armbrust. Year, class five. That's such a weird last name. Armbrust to like. What's it in reference to? I'm sure I'll catch you around again. Later. So, his name's Crow, huh? Angelica's the daughter of Marcus Rodner. Toa's the student council president. George is head of the engineering club. See, so, like, it's, it's, okay, I, I'm not gonna say Marquis, that's still, I, that looks like a marquee to me, but is it a title or is it a name? Because if it's a name, then I'll, I guess I'll let it the Marquis slide, but that's just weird. I don't know, I'm just wondering, like, whoever was doing the line reads for Reen, did they know how to pronounce Marquis? Uh, Marquis Marquis, Jesus, now I'm doing it too. Marquis? This is weird. It seems like every second year I meet is somebody important. What about the third years? Are they even more important? <gasps> but chapter two begin! The Verdant City. Let's go. I like the word verdant. It's a very nice word. Very sounds very regal. Like you could you could just say the green city, and people will be like, it just sounds like it's got a disease or something. But then you say the verdant city, and people are like, ah, oh, ooh. Is, is it shiny? Does it gleam with the color of turquoise and other verdant like things which i totally could think of at the moment i just decided not to say them out loud anyway uh let's go ahead and and hang out in the dormitory man let's go talk to people let's be social let's not be that dude who just goes to the dorm and locks himself up and starts eating ramen and uh watching anime and i mean there's nothing wrong with watching anime but do it with people why do it by yourself have fun Enjoy your college life experience. Even though this dude's not even in college, but... Oh, hold on. I know what I was going to do. Um, Actually, I don't think I even can, but... I was told, fun fact, by... Uh, I believe it was Durr. Again, Durr, shout out to you, bruh. Um, that the reason why we didn't get to see Alyssa in her costume, her swimsuit, is because I put a costume on her. So apparently that really does affect a lot of things in game. So I'm going to keep everyone with the regular... You know school outfits so that way whenever there is a, an outfit change it actually takes place in the overworld and we don't miss out on it sound like a deal dope uh what am i trying to do in my life okay so i can go hang out with someone is that gonna be machias hey guys that was a delicious meal courtesy of kirsch thanks to that i ought to be in top shape for tomorrow i imagine everyone started getting used to the academy of life now but we need to avoid getting too comfortable and keep working Sure do, man. Well said. <clears throat> I heard that it's tradition for the Wind Orchestra to stage a big yearly concert. I'm gonna try to find out more about that tomorrow, but I'm getting really excited just thinking about it. There's gonna be... Uh, that's gonna be my big goal to work toward for the time being. Everybody's gotta have a goal. Doesn't sound like a big one if you ask me. All you gotta do is find information, but you do you, man. You, you, you don't, don't let anybody tell you you're doing things wrong. I mean, you are kind of doing things wrong, but don't let anybody else tell you. Only me. And only when you're really doing things wrong. Okay, 
so wait, that's my dorm. So I guess I just, whenever I'm ready to, to go on with the night, I just go into my dorm. This is Gaius's room. Hold on, I didn't want to come in here. I want to go here. Who is this one? Machias. Oh God, what's this dude's voice? Uh, I completely forgot what this dude's voice is. Uh, who is it? Uh, it's me, Reen. Hey, are you free right now? I'd like to discuss something with you. I'm studying at the moment. Can you save it for tomorrow? That wasn't his voice, but fuck it. Uh, sure, I'll come back then. <sighs> I really do want to apologize to him, but he doesn't seem to want to give me a chance. Oh boy, are we gonna have a, like an Alyssa moment every chapter? Chapter 1, Alyssa didn't want to let us apologize. Chapter 2, Machias doesn't want to let us apologize. Chapter 3, Yusis doesn't want to let us apologize. I'm calling it right now. Yusis, Chapter 3. Uh, are you free at the moment, Yusis? Hmm, what do you want? I just wanted to say thanks for this afternoon. I assume you mean the incident with High Arms. I explicitly remember stating that I wasn't trying to help you. Ha, uh, maybe so, but I still wanted to thank you. Cause you know, I'm not a douchebag like you, but whatever. Um, I'm not really used to handling situations like that. I can beat down monsters, but ask me to talk to people and I freeze. I mean, I'm a noble, but <laughs> he's just shouting it now to like get back at Makia. It's like, I mean, I'm a noble. But I've never really spent much time with other members of nobility. Uses? Hmm, it seems as though neither one of us is an ordinary noble, but your problems have nothing to do with me. Don't expect my assistance next time. Dude, why are people dickbags? I don't get it. Neither of one of us? I guess he's got some issues of his own then. I mean, doesn't everybody? Aren't we all angsty GRPG characters? Let's go talk to the girls. Where's, where's upstairs? I went upstairs, please. I. Right. Nope. A vacant room. Wait. I was going to say, this, I wasn't able to open this before. Oh, look. It's Instructor Sensei's room. Dope. There's like, there's way too much liquor here. I mean, I kind of approve, if I'm going to be honest. But, oh boy. Like. We need an intervention. That's how much liquor there is in here anyway also way too many papers oh i wasn't expecting to see you here i didn't beg you to type to sneak into a lady's room in the middle of the night maybe i had you figured wrong oh girl you don't even know i would exactly call this sneaking i bracingly walked in dick in hand like what's up bro uh <laughs> i'm kind of surprised though you're actually not drinking uh not that i wouldn't like a drink right now to be honest but i've got some work i need to finish up before i forget I mean, he just said a drink. He didn't say, you know, get blackout drunk. Like, you can enjoy a drink while doing paperwork. It's fine. Just one. It's, it's all, drinking is all about being responsible. That's really all it comes down to. It's enjoying yourself responsibly. Okay, yeah, I give up. Grab me a beer from that case over there, will you? Huh. <laughs> you ever think that maybe there's something not quite right about a teacher bringing her beer into the dorms? <laughs> Come on now, there's a fuel that keeps my fires burning and my loins. I'll live it like you have a can or two for yourself. It's okay if anyone asks, I have no idea where you got it. <laughs> uh, I think I'll pass. By the way, instructor, you know a guy named Crow, right? He's a second year student. Oh, and Angelica too. Oh, so you've met them already, have you? I've had my fair share of good times with them since I became an instructor, but then again, who hasn't? I Sure, I'll take your word for it, I guess. Make it sound like everybody knows this already. Ah, so you do know them. Well, at the very least, I hope you can steer clear of their influence. You wouldn't want to take after them any more than you'd want to take after me. You say that, and yet here you are as our homeroom teacher. She's not wrong. Alright, which which can did you want, or which beer did you want? Can I actually get you a beer? No? Oh, well. Uh, okay. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to look at the, the something. Okay, never mind. Nothing, nothing importancing there. Can you get out of the room there, Rubin? Please and thank you. Who's in here? <gasps> Alyssa's room. Hi, Alyssa. Can I barge into your room? Look at her lacrosse gear. Fucking rich white girl. It's got the Energizer bunny, some flowers. All right, what's up, girl? Sigh. Are the? <sighs> what's wrong, Alyssa? Oh, oh, hey, Rubin. It's nothing serious. Don't worry. Well, if you insist. Nah, dude, she totally wants you to worry. But now that I'm here, it's really easy to tell that uh, this is your room, Alyssa. It's so organized and neat. It really fits that high-class image of yours. 
Oh, made her blush and everything. D don't make fun of me like that. <sighs> Sometimes I can tell if he's clueless or just actually, or, or if he's actually caught on. Uh, s sorry, did I say something to upset you? N no, it's nothing. Oh boy. What else? I should do some stretches to get ready for club practice tomorrow. Hee <laughs> hee. I feel like I'm becoming more and more a part of the lacrosse club lately. Now if I could only get along with Ferris, it'll all be perfect. Oh, she doesn't get along with Ferris? Well, you're a noble, she's a noble, why can't you get along with Ferris? <laughs> Laura, big old fucking sword. Is this a replica or is this the actual one? Does she take it out every time she goes? Or does she have several ones that she keeps just in case one of them chips or breaks or something? I don't know. Oh, good evening, Reem. Hey there, Laura. How you doing, girl? Ah, I like how you got your room set up. It's pretty relaxing. It's probably because we've both grown and immersed in... in ugh. We've both grown up immersed in the way of the sword. My room at home has more or less the same feel, too. Ah, I should respect it as much. I see you've been practicing your swings tonight, too. Of course. It helps my dinner settle. Really? Like, right after dinner? Uh, I just... Uh... Street practice is usually my go-to for clearing my mind, so it's an ideal way to wind down the day. For some reason, I had this impression that you were one of those people who never got caught up in stray thoughts. Huh. Even though I have things I brood over now and then, I've noticed that you've been putting extra effort into your training lately. Maybe, uh, may we both continue to strive toward improving ourselves. Couldn't have said it better myself. What else do you say? You know, Talking with you has made me want to pick up the sword again. I already finished today's practice cuts, but I can't see any harm in doing another set. Damn, that's dedication. I mean, almost bordering an obsession, but still. Huh, <laughs> someone's here. Seems like it. I'll be right there. Did they both notice me or did I actually knock? Hello, Ring. Is something the matter? Uh, no, not really. I just came by for a chat. Is V here with you? I thought I heard her voice a moment ago. She is. I promise to help her study again. Uh, I help. Blah, 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 blah. I promise to help her study after we finish dinner. She's currently doing some exercises I prepared for her this afternoon. I never expected to hear that. Yeah, <laughs> she's actually a very hard worker. Would you like to join us? Nah, it's all right. I'd rather not distract you two. It sounds like hard work. So good luck. Thank you. Have a good free day tomorrow. Dude, when do we get Fee? I really want Fee. I must in the middle of helping Fee study. I should on the server. Fee looks like she'll be super dope. I'm gonna be so disappointed if I actually get her and she's not that good of a teammate. It's gonna suck. Anyway, let's go ahead and proceed. Should I call it a day? Choosing to rest will cause the day to change and the main story to advance. No. Um, is that really it? Uh, I know the, the other, these other two cats wanted to hang out after dinner, but like there's no actual hangout. I plan on heading to the art club tomorrow. I imagine everyone started getting used to the academy life by now, but we need to avoid getting too comfortable and keep working. Oh, that's what he said before. Um, setting something to work toward really does help keep you motivated, doesn't it? We're students and we've got tons of options, so we might as well keep uh, keep them. Ah, oh my God! So we might as well make the most of that. Jesus, reading. Fucking one of these days, guys. I swear, one of these days we're gonna have an episode where I don't fumble a single line. And that's mostly going to be because I'm going to have to do some heavy editing where I, you know, just choose all the lines that were in Fumble. But it'll happen. Anyway, uh, I guess that's it. Might as well just turn in for the night. See what happens. Should I call it a day? Yep. Yes. Bum, bum, bum. So we got our free day. Okay, so we gotta go explore and find the house. We're probably gonna get some quests and we gotta find the the new free quest. Student Council Tasks for May. All to help Mystery 2, it is required, of course. I would like to ask Class 7 to continue their investigation of the old ye oldie, I forgot, ye oldie schoolhouse from where they left off last month. Hope you will you will be able to shed further light onto the secrets with those walls, within those walls. You may begin when you see fit, but make sure you are completely prepared. Principal Van Dyke. Then Dick, really. Spine Dyke would have any at the end, I think. Uh, substitute Tutor Klein. Something urgent has come up, so I really need someone to take care of tutoring the kid I usually teach. I'll be waiting in the lower class dorms, so please come see me as soon as you can. Klein, year two, class five. Bulk delivery from Keynes. 
A number of books have just arrived for Thor's faculty, and I would like assistance in delivering them. Inquire at Key's bookstore. Well, I wanted to go to the bookstore anyway. Just go ahead and request the same as month. I've still got a key so I can go in whenever I'm ready. Uh, I'm not telling you how long it's going to take, so I should finish up everything else first. Alright, let's get started. We should definitely do everything else first. Okay. Um, let me make sure there's no one to kind of like talk to around these parts. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anyone here. There is someone here. Instructor Sensei is here. Hello, Instructor Sensei. Uh, well, if it isn't the Reen Bean Machine, should it fully roam the campus as always? I feel like I'm wasting my breath pointing this out, but you do know it's the middle of the day, right? Oh, she's already wasted? You got a problem with me spending my afternoon drinking? It's not even afternoon. It's my room it, and my beer. I'm not seeing the problem here. Oh, looks like she's already plastered. <laughs> Knowing her, she's probably ready to leap into action if anything serious were to come up, though. This might be a good chance to ask her about some things I normally couldn't. Ooh. Spend time with Instructor Sarah? Dude! Ah, uh, yes! Let's do it. Hey, hey, don't just stand there like you've got nothing to do. You're a student, so come sit here and keep me company. Mm-mm. I don't see how that has any relation to me being a student. Uh, cause she likes them students, too. She likes them young. Oh well, I guess this is as good a chance as any. I'll go get myself something to drink. Oh, be a dear and get me something to snack on while you're out, would you? Fine, fine. Looks like you've been working pretty hard for the student council. That's what I like to see. Building up experience and making memories is exactly what youth is all about. I don't want to hear it. Not from a person that pushed me in. Uh, not from a person who pushed me into it in the first place, anyway. Especially since I've had a lot of a lot on my mind lately, regardless. Oh, so this is about Machias, huh? Oh, was that obvious? Well, you don't exactly have a poker face. Have you figured out a way to make up with him yet? Ah, uh, listen, I don't want to. And you know, shout out to. Give me a second. Let me let me see who it was. Um. But I want to say it was... Actually, I don't even remember properly. Kendall. Kendall Fields. Shout out to you, because uh, he or she... I want to say she? Kendall sounds like a girl's name, but I'm not going to assume. 2019, we don't assume. Um, he, she, them, they, they made a very good point of... Um, like, why Machias is behaving the way he was. And I I agree with her to an extent. He, them, I agree with them to an extent. Uh... And I still don't like the way Machias behaved, but I do see where Machias is coming from. So I'm, I'm not going to be as harsh on Machias going forward. Only because Kendall, and I, I kind of replied something up, but like, you know, I hate the fact that they're making such good, uh, like, well thought out arguments to defend Machias because I now that they kind of humanize Machias a bit, I can't just blindly hate Machias anymore. So shout out to you, Kendall, for fucking up my Machias hate. Thanks for that. I appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, so I guess we will be trying to make up with Machias uh, at some point in time, but I'm also, again, I'm not gonna go out of my way to do this. Like, if the opportunity presents itself, I am more than happy to make out, make out, make up, Jesus, make up with him and, um, you know, get this all sorted out. But I'm also not gonna be chasing after him, you know. No, no. The fuck does he think he is? Just no. Anyway. I wish... If I'd been completely honest with him to begin with, none of this would have happened, so it's all my fault. But no, no, hold on, no. Dude, I mean, come on, you, yeah, you lied about a mission, but still, like, this dude has a big old stick up his ass. Let's not, mm -mm. all the fault does not rest within us. But still, ah, uh, I remember when I had such simple youthful worries. <laughs> That's one way to brush me off. Well, the way I see it, your best bet would be just focusing on helping the student council out for the day. Helping other people out with their worries helps you develop as a person and figure out how to take care of your own. Really? Of course. You need to take each and every request seriously and not just see them as boxes in the checklist. Listen caref listening carefully to what a client says and figuring out what they really want from that is key part of the job. After all, people tend to say what's really in their mind. You have to listen for it. Hey, what's with that look? 
I'm just surprised you gave such a helpful one point reply. Or on point, one point. God damn it, Alpha. On point, on point reply. Uh, can I ask what you did before you became an instructor? I am actually very interested about that too. Did you work for the army? Well, tee hee. <laughs> Let's just put it this way. I've got a lot of experience, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Wink, wink, hint, hint. Ooh, arr, arr. Anyway. Uh, more than enough to give you a young and simple advice when you need it, whenever you need it. Uh, that would be a bit more credible if you weren't completely drunk. Lucid enough to dodge the question, though. <laughs> uh, either way, uh, I'm your homebrew teacher. I'll always help you out if you really need me. For now, though, just focus on what you've got to do. I suppose you're right. Well, it's not every day she gives good advice. I might as well take it while I can and focus on helping out the student council. Sir, I took a swig of the beer sitting on the table. Gloop, gloop. Ah, that's the stuff. I, uh, I can take your advice, right? Your bond with instructor Sarah strengthened. Dope. So we have one more bond for the day. And uh, what are we at on time? We can definitely do the one more bond and after that I might have to call it. Because again, not a lot of time today guys. I am, I'm sorry. So you're going to be getting a short episode today. But hey, short episode is better than no episode, right? Right? Right. Your house seems like so much fun. My mommy and daddy are always fighting so it's totally different. Really? That sounds tough. And then daddy beats mommy. Talk, exchange, inspect curios. Oh yeah, what does he have for the curios? Bye. Manly munchies. All right. Oh, look, uh, shout out to Dirk, because he also said that there will be recipes we can buy. So that's one of them. A cookbook marketed towards men. Use it to learn a recipe. Yes. Dope. Okay, talk. Hmm, seven, four, seven, one. No, no, now it's not the time to start getting all defeatist. Not when White Arrow takes us straight away. So well. White Arrow being a horse, I take it? Uh, are you talking about horse racing again? Oh yeah, today's a big one. And I'm gonna win even bigger. That'll show old Fred who's boss. All right. Going for a big win, two to three odds. Might not even be a bad idea either. Hope you're ready, Fred. Because I'm gonna wipe that smirk of your little face. Hey, all right, you do you, my dude. Trade, do I have anything? Um, not trade, exchange. Uh, I don't have any separate, okay. Uh, well, I thought this dude wanted me to come talk to him about the books and stuff. Exchange, Spicurious, leave, but uh, what's this dude, this is Keens? Oh no, this is Mitch's pawn shop, duh, I'm an idiot. This is a bookstore, Keens bookstore. Dummy Alpha. <gasps> Emma, how you doing, girl? Oh, wait, hold on. Who is... Who isn't Trista? Lower class storm is where I gotta go for the other quest. Um... Huh. Alright, I guess I'll just talk to Emma. Hi, Emma. How you doing, girl? Oh, hello, Reen. I see you're working hard as always. Hey there, Emma. You know, I see you in this bookstore pretty often. What brings you here today? Well, today I'm searching for some study materials. I'm hoping to find some that I'll help with you with our classwork. Oh, so that's it. Have you come across anything good yet? Not quite. I've been struggling to find something that would make it easy for her to understand. But on my honor, as a class president, I'm going to keep looking until I find something. I do owe her one after she cheered me up yesterday. Maybe I can help her out. Ah, uh, no, let's let's hold off on that. Let me, let me see who else I can hang out with. Anyway, hey Keens, what's going on, bruh? Welcome, feel free to browse at your leisure. Pardon me, but you sent a request to the student council, didn't you? I certainly did, and I'm guessing this means you're taking care of it. Wonderful. Yep, you said you need help with delivering some books to the academy's instructors. Correct, I usually handle it myself, so I'm sorry to put that work on you today. If you don't mind me asking, is there a reason you needed someone? Yeah, you needed someone else to do this. <laughs> Shamefully enough, yes, I lost the order sheet I received from the academy, so now I'm not sure who I should deliver each book to. That's when I decided that it'd be best to ask one of the students instead. You're more familiar with your instructors than I am, so you might be able to do who ordered what. Dude, I have one instructor. Well, actually, I have three instructors, I guess, but still. So that's why you put the request into the with the student council. 
Exactly. I actually hired a part-timer who studies at doors. I had planned on asking her first, but she's working somewhere else today, so the student council was my only recourse. Aha. Now it all makes sense. So are you free at the moment? I'd like you to get them delivered as soon as possible. Accept the request. Sure, I'll take care of this. Uh, I'll take this request off your hands. Great, here you go. You'll have five books to deliver. They make for a heavy load, so be careful carrying them. Receive Behind the Warped Alliance. Okay, I know who that goes to. Modern Art, I know who that goes to. Topical Science. Yes, I know who that goes to. Uh, I don't know macroeconomics. I mean, well, that might be the cooking one, because macroeconomics tends to fall in there like, uh, just like home ec and stuff. Uh, and, and the Empire Hottest Spots. Is that going to be Instructor Sensei? Oh, you weren't kidding about the weight. Did anyone want to order multiple books? Don't worry, just one per person. So five deliveries, five people, five books. Seems simple enough. These are all different enough that I should be able to figure out which instructor order each one. I'll get started right away. Oh, I'm sure you do a great job. Dope. Uh, yeah, let me let me go talk to Instructor Sarah real quick. See if the hotspot one is hers. Um, where is our dormitory? Is this one? This one. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, instructor Sensei. Third floor. Bruh, third floor. Get it together, Alpha. Did you per perchance? Oh, it looks like she did. Hey, Reen. What's up? <clears throat> oh, boy. Looks like she's still drinking. Why would you think she wouldn't? That's all she does, my dude. Anyway. <sighs> I get the feeling that one odd magazine in the pile- Oh, wait. I get the feeling that the one odd magazine in the pile is probably hers. Um, you wouldn't happen to know what this is, would you? Reen showed Instructor Sarah the Empire's hottest spots. Dope! Uh, hey, that's a magazine I uh, used at Academy's money to buy. Dude, she's just... <laughs> does not even try to hide it. Didn't think you read it too. Uh, let's not jump to conclusions now. It looks like I was right on the mark. The truth is... Reen explained the situation to Instructor Sarah and handed over the Empire's hottest spots. Oh, thanks. That explains it though. Sounds like your work for the student council is varied, if nothing else. Well, might as well have a little look at it now. Flip. Flip. She might be the most carefree person I've ever met. Uh, that's a magazine for people looking to tour the Empire, isn't it? That seems like something you should be like something you should be buying with your own money, not the academies. Uh, uh it, it's for your field studies. What? I'm reading this so I can research potential field study locations. Yet, here you are, assuming I'm using it to plan a sneaky little holiday for myself. That's pretty rude, you know? I, uh, I see. That certainly does sound plausible. However unlikely. It might not seem like it sometimes, but I guess she really is always looking out for us. Oh, the booze here looks pretty good. First it tells me about Caldex beer, now this? Ugh, oh, gotta appreciate a magazine that covers an adult's needs. I take it all back. The only person she's thinking about it here is herself. All right. Dope, dope, dope. All right, guys. Like I said, I am sorry for the shortness of this episode, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Life, life finds a way to get in the way. So anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and park it right here. In the next episode, we'll go ahead and continue with uh, the book delivery quest. We'll pick up our next quest. Um, I'll, I'll leave it to you guys. So we got one more uh, bonding point. Let me know who you would like me to hang out with. And uh, I'll go ahead and hang out with that person. And uh, we'll also go ahead and get into Ye Olde Schoolhouse Part 2. Alrighty, guys. Sorry about that. Hmm. So, that's the reason. Jesus, Reen, please. So, as you heard, my dog's going wild and someone ring the doorbell. That's the reason why uh, we're going to have a short episode today. But next time, we'll have a full episode. And like I said, we'll continue Ye Old Schoolhouse and uh, finish up these quests. Let me know who you want me to hang out with. And we'll go ahead and take care of that as well. So, if you're new to the Drunken News channel, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. All that good stuff. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for your time, patience, and comments. They do mean a lot. Super Ultra Dope Mega. Thanks go out to you. Good evening, good morning, good night, whatever it is, wherever it is that you are. That's what we wish you here from the Drunken Ears channel to you guys. Cheers and good night.